I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. What's bothering you this week? This. See this template? It's one of Word's templates, and it has these mysterious fill-in-the-blanks items. Ah, those are content controls. I want to know more. Ensure that you have the Developer tab available. Refer to my Word Tips video for assistance. With the Developer tab visible, click it. These items in the Controls group are content controls. A whole buffet of them to choose from. I love buffets. The two fill-in-the-blanks items are the Rich Text Content Control and the Plain Text Content Control. Before moving on, be aware that these controls work best in template files. That's where I saw them. While you can put a content control in any document, they're ideal for a template. Here, I have a template I'm working on. Certain parts of it require updating with a content control to help the template user know where to put what. Position the insertion pointer where you want the content control, the fill-in-the-blanks item, to appear. On the Developer tab, in the Controls group, click the Rich Text Content Control button, which I shall magnify for you here, but it's still not that impressive. Here is the fill-in-the-blanks box. And because it's a rich text and not plain text, this button here, the content controls are formatted using the same format as the nearby text. Is that it? No! With the content control selected, click the Properties button here. Type a title for your content control, something that's going to help the user understand what kind of content you want. I will type your name here. This title helps the user understand what to type into the content control, their name in this case. I'll click OK to show you. Good. Now click the Properties button again because I have more configuring to do. Other items in this dialog box set the bounding box, the color. So if you want, you can highlight the content control on the page. The Remove option transforms the content control into plain text after the user types something inside, effectively making it vanish. To demonstrate, I will click OK. Now suppose I open this template and I see the content control, and I'm like, oh, I need to type my name here. And I do. Then I'm going to click elsewhere, as I normally would. Now it looks like the content control vanished, but it's still there. Click it. See, I can edit the text again. Unless, Properties button, Checkbox Remove Content Control When Contents Are Edited. Okay. And now I'm going to go back and type my name. And then click elsewhere. The content control vanishes. Impressive. Most impressive. Obviously, the Developer tab features many more content controls. I'll cover some of the more interesting ones in future Word Tips videos. And just like the rich text content control, remember that these items go well in templates, not regular documents. More details can be found in my highly useful tome, Word 2016 for Professionals for Dummies. Yes, it covers Word 2019 as well.